Cain, Galactus. I think I did a bad thing. This is the deck that I play in today's video, and it surprised me so much. It is a surprise Galactus-style deck, where our goal is to surprise them with Galactus. I know, shocking, right? But I was amazed at how many times this actually worked. And there is another line for turning off Limbo with Scarlet Witch or Rhino as well, in case you don't draw Galactus. It would be irresponsible of me to not say this. Do not play this deck if you are trying to climb. It's not what this deck is for. I was just messing around in this video and having fun and getting a lot of highlight games. On turn one, you want to make sure that you remember to click on the right location because of Uwatu. I will be completely honest in saying that there were several times I forgot to do so while recording. From that point, you can evaluate whether you'd like to play Umbaku or Uwatu if you have either of them in hand. I would never recommend playing Titania on one, though. On turn two, sometimes you can play Maximus. I would highly advise you to not, though. That is a very dangerous thing to do, and if it doesn't work out, then that decision to play Maximus could lose you the game. Drawing your opponent's cards for them is generally a horrible idea. You can also play Silk, but she could potentially be annoying if you were trying to set up a Galactus lane. On turn 3, you either want to play Gladiator in a lane that you're going to get priority in, or you'll want to play Magic to set up your shocking turn 6 win. Either way, playing Swordmaster is way too risky at this point. He's generally going to be used to help finish off the game if you're using the Scarlet Witch or Rhino route, like you'll see later. On turn 4, there really isn't much for you to do. Play Magic if you haven't already, obviously. But other than that, you just want to get some power down. Make sure to keep a lane open for a potential Galactus, though. Turn 5 is kind of the same as 4. You're mostly just stalling to bamboozle them on 6. Honestly, Sunspot would probably be better than something like Silk in this deck, because a lot of the time, we're just waiting for turn 6. On turn 6, you have a lot of options. Starting with the most obvious one, Bluff Snapping with Kane is generally just a free play, and can force your opponent to retreat when you have nothing. Other than that, you also have Galactus Lines, which are incredibly fun, and you can either do after a Kane if you want the insight, or before slash without Kane if you deem that you don't need him. Playing Kane is just free most of the time though, so keep that in mind. And then, finally, you could also Scarlet Witch the Limbo you got down earlier, and use your other cards to put power down in the locations. Any of these three will work, and they are all shocking to your opponent and very fun for you. Alright. <clears throat> so, good that we got Scarlet Witch and Rhino in hand, obviously. Um, we kind of want to, we want to save our Titania. Uh, they play Nebula? Okay, cool. Good for them. Um... Elysium. So we are going to get rid of the Vibranium Mines so that we can happily play to this nebula. We get Ruins, obviously. Um, Baxter Building, okay. So like Gladiator is arguably a play that we could do. I think we are going to go for it, because priority, I'm assuming, will be pretty helpful in this deck. Um, so, yeah. Nebula gets bigger, Misty Knight, makes sense, they're doing this kind of stuff. Gladiator is going to pull Sunspot and kill Sunspot, there we go. We're very happy there. Um... So now, I mean, is that really our best play? The magic lines didn't really work out this time, so I think we're going to end up just playing Swordmaster. Swordmaster discards Titania. Okay, they play Cyclops. Which does suck a little bit for us. Um, we can play Silk. So I think we probably will. They play a really big Hulk. Okay. 
Um, so we're gonna snap into Kane, and maybe they'll just leave. Um, <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. Okay, so they have Hope Summers, Vibranium, High Evo. Right. Yeah, yeah, all seeing, whatever. Um. Okay, so hear me out. I'm thinking this might actually get them. If they if they do the same play, this will get them. Which would be really funny. <laughs> there's no way, right? Because there's, like, actually no way, though. Lemuria makes it funnier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way they have like a card or something that survives, right? That I missed. No, no, we just win. Feel a little bit toxic doing that, but um. And M'Baku shows up. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Mongo. Okay. Baku's in hand at the start. Interesting. Okay, so this is Titan. So we know that we're okay to Galactus there, then. Titania's gone, okay. That's fine. Um. Sanctum Sanctorum. I mean, so, hmm. I want us to have priority. Because if we have prior, ooh. Okay, Galactus being a five cost makes it almost easier, but not really. Um, I already knew he was going to be a 5 cost, though, because we want to. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to skip. They play Thor. Okay. Kind of hard for us to maintain priority with that. Okay, we're getting all the cards we don't want. Um, I think we play Uwatu just to play him, right? Yeah. Iceman? That's fine. We need, like... Oh, no. We need one of our big cards. That's not any of our big cards. Um... So we could... But, like... I'm not sure it's a great idea... I think we just Rhino. They play Sandman. To me. And then we're gonna do this. Now, if they have a Lyoth, we'll be really sad. But maybe this will just make them leave. <laughs> So, yeah, I know you see all. I get it. 
We're gonna do this and hope that White Tiger rolls mid again. It does. And we actually win. <laughs> I've done this two times in a row now. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Sacred timeline. We're not gonna play anything quite yet. I think. Maximus on 2 is really bad. I have done it a few times in this video. Just to get priority for a Galactus line, but we don't. We don't have Galactus right now. Um, so we're going to magic right. Green Goblin mid, okay. That's fine, just kind of annoying, right? Um, because, oh my god, I always forget to check Uwatu. Um, I mean, we could theoretically do something like this. I'm not sure if it's a great play. That's what we're gonna do. Hmm, they century. Yeah, we kind of... need to do this, right? Because we don't want the void. Giving them cards with Maximus. No. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to Kane. Right. We're going to see what they do. And then we will react accordingly. Um, if you were trying to climb with this deck, which don't, <laughs> this is, don't climb with this, but if you were like really trying to win, you would play Kane, you would snap, and if they covered mid, you would not do anything else. Um, but because they didn't, I'm going to fist bump them and just let this play out. And hopefully they think like, ah, oh, this game is done. Yep. There we go. Um, <laughs> I really think it's, it's the mind games of the fist bump. They think that I'm like admitting defeat. Um, when I am indeed not. There's M'Baku joining in. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, this deck has been so stupid. Alright. All seeing, we got Eternity Range over there, which super sucks. We got Kiln there. Okay. So, they play Deadpool mid. Cool. It's Westview. Um, are we cool to play Silk here? I think so. I think it's fine. Silk will find her way back there eventually. Um, they play Nico mid, okay. So, I mean... Maybe we do this mid? I don't know, it feels risky. Let's let's do it right. So Yeah, the Carnage pick. It is admittedly looking like this is going to be a Scarlet Witch style game. 
Um, so we are going to Gladiator left. Hopefully everything will be okay. So, I mean, Gladiator is big. Holds Venom, which can't eat anything. And will get destroyed. Silk rolls right. It's really good for us. I definitely need to change my underwear. So... I think this is how we'll want to do this. We play a bunch of stuff right. And Deathlock, maybe? Oh no, Wolverine. So. I think. They've used Killmonger and Carnage, their Venom's destroyed. This has to be Deathlock. I should have snapped earlier in this game, by the way. I can't snap now. We're just gonna do this and win. Yeah, it's Deathlock. So, I'm fairly certain no matter where the stuff rolls, we're just completely fine. Next 23 rolls mid. Yeah, Wolverine does not matter. Right? Okay. Um, so we turn off Limbo. And we play Swordmaster and we win, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, if it had pulled Carnage, we still would have been fine because we had Rhino. But, um, and we were winning by so much left. So it would have been okay. But yeah. <laughs> nice win. So it's interesting. <clears throat> the general idea behind this deck is to um, to play magic and then to turn off the magic, which we might be able to do this game, by the way. Um, yeah, we play Maximus there. It's a bad idea, but like that's kind of the point. You know, actually, we kind of countered their pixie a little bit. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Um, right, so we're going to magic here, and then we are probably looking to gladiator and like maybe a titania left, depending on, depending on how we're feeling. Um. Mobius, okay. So, I'm thinking maybe Titania is a little bit too risky. Maybe we just play the M'Baku. Because we want to win left, right? Um, so this is what we're going to do. And we're going to snap now. Because, normally I don't snap in videos, but with this deck, snapping is like a key way to help you win. It's a very valuable tool in this deck specifically um, because you're just doing a bunch of random stuff, basically. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not random. There is something connecting it all together, but like, I'd be surprised if the opponent realized. Um, oh no, that's okay. We just changed the game plan now. Um, it's completely fine. Everything is a-okay. So turn five, we are going to play Titania without priority. So Titania is going to be here on six. And then we're hoping we can Galactus mid. It's Lockjaw and Wasp, 
which gives them a beta ray bill right and a yellow jacket mid. Now, they are heavily incentivized to play right with the Lockjaw and the Titanium. So I'm hoping what will happen here is they will play right. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's actually no way though, right? Like... <laughs> this is... Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys have a peek behind the curtain a little bit. This is the fourth game I'm recording for this. Three out of the first four games I've won like this. Like, by playing Galactus, not specifically with the Lord. But this is insane. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I'll say hello. Uh, what do we got? We got Wakanda there. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna skip. I wanna play Titanium on one. Um Kiln, okay. That's fine. Um do we want I don't think we wanna play Silk there. I think we're completely happy with playing like Probably magic right, honestly. Um, into hopefully like gladiator titanium mid. They're snapping, which is fine. Um, I'd be surprised if they had negative in this list, but you know, shocker. So this is really just like a list where they try to cheat out and stuff, I think. Um. I mean, we can get to 11, which is pretty shocking, I think. I'm fine with that. And we'll snap on this. Oh, I snapped a little late, that's okay though. They only go to 10. We go to 11. I think it's more than likely that they will play something, right? Um... So... Assuming they do play something right, we are happy to do this. I mean, I'm thinking, because I'm debating if we if we are thinking about a Scarlet Witch line or if we're thinking about a Galactus line. I would think probably more Galactus right now. I mean, like, I think the Scarlet Witch line might actually be better. I think, oh, but we're sending the Titania over. That's annoying. We could Kane. Let's Kane. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, they do fill up right. Play Spider Woman right. So. For the record, I think either line is okay. But we're going to do this one because we haven't done it yet. So there we go. No more limbo. Yep, they just play Spider One. 
So, there we go. We get the win. Um, yeah, it's been shocking the amount of people who have done the exact same play after I've seen their play. Um, <laughs> I guess it makes sense, but still, I'm a little bit shocked by it. But there we go. All right. So that's Monster Metropolis. Okay. We get Clintar left. All right. Sakar is kind of annoying. Like I'd rather if that didn't. Okay, it pulls Scarlet Witch. Sinister London. We could magic the Sinister London, because I feel like they're probably going to benefit from that more than we are. So we don't want to give them the chance to, um, to truly benefit from it. So, I mean, Swordmaster here is sometimes really bad. Um, we just Titania instead? Because we know Titania is staying there at least for now. The Mockingbird mid. Okay. So... We do have Rhino. Like, if we do something like this, I mean... There's a lot of the time that that just kills us, though. Like... I think we're just gonna do this. Okay, they blob. pretty bad. I think our best choice is just to Galactus left without snapping. If we snap, that might let them onto it a little bit too much. But because we didn't, we get to win. <laughs> oh my god. This has actually worked more than I want it to. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, that's Kiln. All right. So, do we just play Uwatu there? We like let them know, like, hey, this is a. Oh, that sucks for us. Okay, um, you know, Silk is actually not a bad card to play there. Getting plus five off the top is pretty cool. So, do we think that we can go head to head with that Nebula? Probably not, right? I don't know. Not in Kiln, I don't think. Sunspot, Misty Knight, okay. So a 110 Titania. Jeez, um, okay. We're gonna Rhino this. Of course that sends the Silk, right? Eh, it went back mid, it's okay. So... I mean, Titania now feels like a really big risk, right? Maybe we just play M'Baku?
Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. They are taking a long time to do turn four. Wow, I am sorry. Um, they don't even do anything. Okay, they just skip. So... I think we're gonna end up skipping this turn, right? I mean, maybe we want to, like, play Scarlet Witch or something. We could just... I don't know. I don't think we play anything. They don't play anything either. Let's snap and play Kane. Because, I mean, that's, that's just helpful for us. Um, and they retreat. There we go. <laughs> Stealing cubes. All right. 